Hello everybody and welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Brandon. Thank you so much for being here. I really appreciate it. And if you're new, what's up? Thank you so much for being here. I'm glad you're here. Um, if DIY projects and review and testing videos is something that is that um, interests you, please make sure you subscribe to this channel, like, comment, and share as always, and just get the word out that I am doing YouTube and that I want to grow. So please do that in helping me. And make sure you comment and let me know if you do because I want to thank you personally. I know a lot of people that are starting YouTube or that are currently doing YouTube, they may say thank you to their larger crowd, but I wanna make sure I personally say it um, to you guys because it really means a lot to me. So in today's video, I am joined by some very special guests and decorations. It is going to be my favorite holiday very, very soon. And today we are going to be making some DIY projects um, for Easter and for spring. So. If that interests you, make sure you keep on watching. Okay, for the first project, we are going to need a metal wreath from the dollar store, and we're going to need some plastic eggs. Now you can get the eggs from the Dollar Tree, but I have a better deal for you. You gotta go to Walmart and get the 48 pack for $1.98. To get 48 from the dollar store, you would need to spend $4, and I only spend $1.98. So definitely go to um, Walmart. I'm not saying that you have to, but to get 48 from the dollar store, you would need to spend $4. So it doesn't make sense if you have to spend more money. Um, so essentially what I'm going to do is I'm going to hot glue and E6000 glue uh, plastic eggs all the way around the outer ring of the wreath. And I'm gonna put something in the middle. Um, haven't decided that yet, but I'm gonna take a look to see what I, else I bought from the dollar store or see if I have something else that I wanna put in. Um, but I'm gonna go ahead and do that off camera and then I'll be right back. Okay, so I finished hot gluing all of my Easter eggs onto my wreath. Okay. Now I did have to use a little E6000 glue and glue in between the legs, the legs, the eggs, oh my God, the eggs. So it gives them a little bit more um, sturdiness to it. Now I think I'm going to leave the middle alone. I kind of like the way this looks already. I don't want to add really anything else to it. Um, I did have to use 51 eggs. So I used the whole package that I bought from Walmart um, for $1.98 and then I had to use three extra eggs. So I good thing I bought another package because I'll be using them for something else. So all in all, this project costed me about $3, okay? And it's a cute little wreath that's gonna get hung up in my house this, this year. Um, keep on watching, we have more crafts coming. Okay, for the next wreath that we're going to make, you're going to need a wreath. Um, I bought this cute little sign, these cute little carrots, some de decorative mesh, and I also found this cute little ribbon. Don't know if I'm gonna use it yet. I bought a couple different kinds. Um, but yeah, all this stuff is still out of the dollar store. Um, so I'm gonna attempt to make a cute little wreath um, to hang on another one of my doors in my house. So if that interests you, keep on watching. Okay, so my idea for this wreath is I'm going to take my metal. Oh, first we gotta cut this, the price tag off. Okay, I'm gonna take my metal wreath and my purple mesh and I am going to wrap it around the wreath, okay? And I'm gonna wrap it kind of tight because I kind of want to get rid of the 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 wire behind it and I also want to give it a little bit of color so I'm going to wrap it around and then I'll be right back okay for the next part of my wreath I want to take off my my string from my sign and also the the barcode and I'm going to attempt to attach it in the middle to make it look like that, okay? So I could do this on camera. I'm gonna put a little bit of E6000 glue. Cause 
because I want this to last. Okay, we're gonna let this dry and then we'll be right back. Okay, so now that the glue has dried, this is what we have. Um, I also tied the top of the bunny um, to the actual wreath itself just to give it a little bit of more support. Um, now I'm gonna go ahead and put on the decorations that I bought. So I bought these little carrots. I'm just gonna glue them onto the wreath. After I hot glue it, I'm probably later going to put some E6000 glue, but just for the sake of the video and time, I just want to make sure that they get on there and I get my point across with the wreath. Okay, so those are going to dry. I'm probably going to go see if I can grab a couple more things to add to this and then I'll be right back. Okay, so I found these Easter egg picks um, also from the dollar store. And I'm going to take them out of the package, take them off of the sticks, and I'm going to kind of glue them around on the wreath. So I'm going to do that, and then I'll be right back. Okay, so I'm going to glue my last egg on, putting it on, and then just attaching it, pressing onto it for a few seconds so it can get a hold so it doesn't fall off right away. And there we have some of the wreath, okay? I'm gonna take this ribbon now that I got. I think I wanna try to create a bow to put at the top of my wreath. I'm gonna take this out of the package, create the bow, and then I'll be right back. Okay, for the next project, we are going to need some mason jars. You're gonna need some felt, and you're also going to need some paint. I would pick out four different colors. Try to keep them spring, Easter-ish colors. Um, you're also gonna need some hot glue and some paintbrushes. Um, so the project today is we are going to turn the mason jars into rabbits, okay? So the idea is we're gonna paint the jar one color. We're gonna make a bunny face on the front. We're gonna take our felt we are going to make some bunny ears and then we're going to leave the jars open and then glue the ears up here and then you could have a cute four piece bunny decoration okay so i'm going to go ahead and prep my materials and then i'll be right back okay so for my first uh rabbit i'm going to paint it the color purple iris this paint can be purchased from michael's or walmart and since I'm not going to be using the lids, I'm going to use the lids as my little uh, paint palette so I can put the paint in. And of course, you're going to need your paintbrush. And you're just going to go ahead and paint the jar. Now, the jar is going to need a few coats. And make sure you're using acrylic paint. For the next rabbit, we are going to use the color pool blue. And of course, again, I'm going to use my lid to my mason jar as my color palette. I think I poured too much, but well, we can always put it back in. Now 
Now, like I said before, I am waiting for my purple jar to dry because that is definitely going to need another coat. I need new paintbrushes. So same thing, you're just going to paint the entire jar. Go all the way around. I'm painting it up and down. For the next color, we are going to go in with bright yellow. And of course, we're gonna use the the tops of the jar lids as our paint pan. Take a little bit of paint and then paint over it. And for our fourth bunny, we are going to go into the color pink parfait. It would help if I opened it. You just can take your paintbrush and of course just give it a good two layers of acrylic paint and you should be good. And you're going to want to let the paint dry on the jar before you go ahead and apply more paint. If you do not, it's just going to move around wet paint and it's not really going to give it the proper color and really cover up the glass and you'll probably be able to see through it and of course you want to try to hide all of the normal engravings on the jar as much as possible while your mason jars are driving you can go ahead and get started on the next portion of this project and that would be to create the ears. So what I have um, from Walmart are sheets are of felt and these sheets are 28 cents. So I'll be able to make my ears and then still have a little extra felt left over for another project later on um, if I need them. So I'm gonna go ahead, I'm looking at a picture of a bunny ear on my iPad. So I'm gonna kind of do this picture and I'm just gonna freehand it on here with a Sharpie. Okay, so I have that, my ear. And I'm gonna grab my scissors and I'll be right back. I'm gonna go ahead and cut out my first ear.
and then we have our first bunny ear. I'm going to go ahead and use the exact um, same ear that I cut out for my first one and kind of use it as a, a stencil so I can have the exact same shape for my next one. I don't want them to be crooked or lopsided. So I'm gonna go ahead and just cut out a second ear. I might do all different shape ears because all my bunnies are gonna look different so I don't want them to look the same. But just for the yellow bunny, I wanna make sure he has the exact same ear. Maybe I should have traced this. And if you if you use a Sharpie, make sure you, you do it lightly because the Sharpie will bleed through. Or you can use a, a washable marker or a darker yellow marker just so you don't have the bleed through of the black. And then we have our two bunny ears. We have our two bunny ears. So I'm gonna repeat this process for my next three jars and then I'll be right back. Now that my faces are painted on, I'm gonna go ahead and hot glue my ears onto my jars. Definitely gonna to wanna to put a lot of hot glue on so they stay on. ears are on and we're gonna also put some ribbon on our bunny to give it a little bit more oomph and we might add a couple more things to the face but yeah that's pretty much it I'm gonna do the rest I'm gonna do the rest of the jars and then I'll be right back last but not least I'm going to take some ribbon now to add to my bunny rabbits um, I bought this pack of ribbon from Michaels when they were having one of their big sales I believe it was like 350 for all of these, they had a bunch of them. I guess they wanted to get rid of them. So I'm gonna go ahead and open each one of these ribbons and I'm going to essentially make a bow at the top of my rabbit jar to kind of lay there, kind of give it a little bit more bling and sparkle. around leave some extra and then we are going to tie the ribbon I want to make sure as much as the sparkle is standing out too because that's the whole point of putting this on there I may have cut the ribbon a little bit too short. Yeah. All right, I'm gonna measure out the ribbon and tie the bow off camera, and then I will be right back. 
also our bunny family is finally complete and they get to add to my other bunnies that I have. Um, side note with the pink, I'm not sure why this happened, but the pink, the light pink paint um, really didn't take too well with the, with the jar when I went over it again with the darker pink and also the black to make the face. It kind of was taking away the lighter pink and I'm not really sure why that happened. So if you guys know, make sure you comment and let me know, educate me. But I still think they really, still think they turned out really cute. We have some polka dots on here to kind of um, make them look a little bit different. But all in all, I think this was a really cute project. I still need to be working on my brushing skills and drawing. It's not the best, but hey, they still look cute. This whole project, maybe $15, the, jar, the jars are 12. Add in the felt, the ribbon and the paint cost um still pretty cheap i don't think i've ever seen anything like this in the store so it's kind of like a one-of-a-kind thing you're getting for them and they're still gonna look really cute in your house so if you guys want to try out this project make sure you let me know and i want to see pictures definitely send them my way i know i received a um a bunch of good comments about my saint patrick's day diy video people want to try out try making the runner Super easy, super cute. I think I might do the same thing with the Easter ones when, once my dollar store puts out um, their felt for Easter. I think I'm gonna go over there and maybe see if I could pick up some felt eggs and make a runner out of that. Um, but that's not gonna be on this video, unfortunately, because I don't have the supplies for that. I do have one more project for this video, and that is going to be Easter egg garland. So make sure you stay tuned for that. Thank you guys so much. Hello everybody. So I know the next portion of this video was supposed to be the Easter garland, but unfortunately I have a lot of um, personal issues going on that I have to take care of first. Um, so what I'm going to do is I am going to create a Easter DIY, Easter slash spring DIY part two, and I'll make sure that garland is in that video um, because I do have a couple other projects that I want to do for Easter, but I want to make sure that um, this video gets up on time and ready. So thank you guys so much for being patient. I love you guys.